Now some developing news tonight from the shoreline. We now know the names of the father and son who were found dead inside their condominium in Branford. It was breaking news we brought you last night at 11 after police were called to a condo complex on Florence Road. And that's where we find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland now. Matt? Well, Denise, those who live here say that this is a pretty quiet community, but it was anything but that yesterday evening and into the night. A number of police officers focusing on that building behind me. As for the investigation, after initially saying there were signs of trauma, police now tell us they've ruled out a homicide, but still no official cause of death. Branford police officers and detectives with the Connecticut State Police Major Crime Squad spent all night and into the morning hours investigating the death of a father and son found inside their second floor unit at the Branford Hills condo complex. There was like six cops, six state troopers, the crime squad, um, another big thing and just a lot of the neighbors outside. For hours, nervous neighbors gathered waiting for word on just what happened. It startled me because the police knocked on my door, but I saw nothing, heard nothing. It's a very quiet area. We're told a family member discovered the bodies of 71 year old David Wells and his 36 year old son Jason Wells shortly after six last night. They were neighbors. You say hello and you say goodbye. You know nothing about them. Initially, police said both bodies showed signs of trauma, indicating a crime had taken place. But this afternoon, they moved away from that theory, ruling out a homicide. We're just waiting on that toxicology report, but the public uh, could rest assured that there's no danger to them at this time. And while police continue to investigate, those who live here say it's simply sad to see. Yeah, that's sad. It really is. Like, dang, two people just died. And we're told the results for that toxicology report is expected to take about a month. We're live with the mobile newsroom in Brantford. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.